begin to pray are there people of prayer in this city pray from the depth of your heart In the name of Jesus Christ, let that fire fall. Give me understanding, Lord, that you will honor my waiting, my praising, my crying, my singing. You've been led through a session of very strong prophetic worship. Preachers, pray. The youth, pray. Wonderful things happen when we seek him at night. Pray for the sake of your destiny. Pray for the sake of your ministry. There are many of you here, the call of God is upon your life. i like you to pray. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted from the depth of your heart. This is part of the meeting. Let it fall on my destiny. Open my eyes to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to this instruction. Listen very carefully. You are going to shout hallelujah seven times. Listen carefully. I will teach for a while, but I want you to shout hallelujah seven times. I will lead you. At the seventh time as you shout, not everybody, but there are a few people here. The kind of fire you have seen in your dreams, the visions you have seen, at that help them. Just those under the anointing, there is no place to bring them out, but please just be your brother's keeper. Listen very carefully. There are angels here seven loud hallelujah at the seventh time parako shadiba lakatosia there are altars that must go down there are gates that have been closed over families for decades people have tried to open it and it seems not to open that shout is a shout that commands ancient gates to be lifted are you ready or weary Number one. Two. Three. Four. Hey, bakata, bakatoshka, tekata, barakata. Skete leke parakatos kati gata pakata. Five. The anointing that needs to come upon your destiny. That what your father could not do. What your mother could not do. The enchantments that are said nobody will rise from your family. Are you ready for the sixth shout? Six. Now get ready. This is the last shout. This is not an ordinary shout. It's a shout that brings the anointing and the glory to your life. Listen, the fire of God is going to fall upon many, many, many as you shout. There are apostles and there are prophets. There are evangelists and there are pastors. There are prophetic worshippers. The mantle of your call, the mantle of your grace. Are you ready now? Seven. Take that grace. Take the abacados kata. Take that grace. Take that anointing. Let it fall upon you. All over this stadium. Let that unction fall. In the name of Jesus. Set you on fire. Prophetic fire. Apostolic fire. Prayer fire. Evangelistic fire.
in the name of Jesus. Now, please hear me. I want you to shout a loud amen. Every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I'm standing by the apostolic and the prophetic, and I prophesy, lift up your heads, all ye gates, be lifted ancient doors, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand by the rod of the apostolic, I move you forward, move into your destiny, move into prophecy, move into your destiny, move into prophecy, in the name of Jesus. Hear me, every force that has vowed that you will not rise, I come by this anointing tonight, may the ground open and swallow them. May the ground may the ground open and swallow them. That which has covered your glory, covered your face in the name of Jesus. I tear that veil from your face. Please believe in what is happening. We're in a serious prophetic atmosphere. Whatever has tied your feet so that the only thing going forward is your age. Nothing else is going forward. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I prophesy to you, go forward now. Go for Oh, worry. Go forward now. Go forward now. Nike the chains falling. Hey. Nike the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. Just help all that, those under the anointing. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you have won the victory. Hallelujah. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable, reliable God, reliable, reliable God, reliable, reliable God. Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, for every man, for every woman, for every preacher, for everyone here represented, I decree and declare 
that everything that will not let you go must go for you now in the name of Jesus now here's what will happen I may just I just want to give a charge it's a prophetic worship and we have been standing maybe just for 10 15 minutes I want you to please pay attention to what I want to share and then afterwards I want to pray and release a grace upon your life for many of you you have seen this day in your dreams you've seen it in visions and you've been wondering how will it happen I announce to you that tonight is that night in the name of Jesus please be silent everyone I'm seeing the number 23 they will begin to shout by the anointing there is a strong anointing coming on them if someone shouts like that close to you you just help them 23 I'm stretching my hands I'm seeing fire across the concrete don't worry 23 right now I stretch my hands 23 from the front to the back the left to the right is an anointing that is separating you by wisdom oh God heaven's gate open now with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing by wisdom oh God heaven's gate open now with understanding you order the season creating day and night turning darkness into light hallelujah i'm seeing the number 11 and the lord is saying a mantle is coming upon you you are the one anointed to open the gates of your family right now as i'm praying 11 people wherever you are under the sound of my voice that unction is resting upon you now eleven people may that grace that pioneering grace that will open a door that has not been opened may it come upon you in the name of jesus You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Yahweh the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Now listen very carefully to what I want to tell you. Just a few minutes and we'll pray. The move of God that is coming to this city, the move of God and that revival fire is not only a worry, it's the entire southeast. But it's important for you to understand that there are three kinds of people there are three categories of people you want to be part of this move listen carefully there are three groups of people the spiritual formation the strategy for this revival is threefold
now please hear me i don't know how you do this but please be your brother's keeper don't let anyone injure themselves there are people who will start running now as i'm speaking by the spirit is the shackles of delay that is breaking please hold them so they don't injure themselves right now i'm declaring by the spirit the power of god that came upon elijah that grace for speed you will find out that they will want to start running just hold them where they are so they don't injure themselves i release that grace right now no more delay and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jisrael please hold them whether you are an usher or not you just help them there is something the holy ghost is doing over their life yokes of delay yokes of delay minutes i want to pray a prayer that will change your life now i am serving a god of miracles i know yes i know I am serving the God of miracles. I know. Sing it two more times. Yes, I know. Hallelujah. I'm serving the Lord of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the Lord of miracles. I know. Yes. One more time. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to do three things in one. I want to pray for the sick right now. We cannot end this glorious meeting without praying for the sick and number two i'm going to be praying that every force and every power holding on to your destiny that he must let you go and then number three is the final impartation the grace that has been looking for your head my assignment is to connect that mantle to your head are you ready to pray in one minute i'd like you to pray god visit me one more time please quickly pray don't be distracted Visit me one more time. Cry to the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Now, if you are sick in your body, if there is any part of your body that is ailing you or you are standing in for a loved one who is sick, Place your hand right now, wherever you are trusting God for a miracle. Please do it quickly. Your eyes, place it on your eyes. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. We have to rebuke the complete gospel. Hear me? The complete gospel demands that when Jesus is preached, an opportunity must be given for his power to heal and to save. I've got the message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. Keep your hands there. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and leave. Look and leave. My brother leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look. Keep your hands there. I want to pray for you right now. Let there be silence everywhere. I want to pray. Now hear me. I'm going to pray and declare that the healing anointing will begin to touch people right where you are. Don't force anyone, whether you're on a wheelchair, whether you're on crutches, whether you are blind, you're deaf, whether there's any kind of pain right where you are, I want to pray for you. Now hear me. A lady is going to shout right now, loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. When that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. 
sometimes i don't know why the holy spirit does this but it's, it's mysterious how he works a strong anointing is coming on a lady right now a loud shout to the hearing of everybody now we're ready to pray when i say in jesus name i want you to thunder a loud amen are you ready in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ right now i decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity here hear the word of the lord by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare let god's people go free now every power of witchcraft every power connected to ancestry connected to foundations and bloodline i decree and declare by the help them by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar holding on to your destiny and it will not let you go i set it on fire now help them i set it on fire now i release them right now release their destinies right now every altar territorial altars please help them in the name of jesus Parakata katoshke tegete, embreketa, mabrakata, marine spirits, witches and wizards, altars, covenants. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Release God's people now. And right now, I decree and declare for all those who are sick in your body, I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus. Be healed now. Be healed now. Blind eyes be open in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears be open in the name of Jesus. Those on crutches having problems with their limbs, I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Every growth around your body, lumps in the breast, and all kinds of growths, I command it to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name every negative genotype we change it now in the name of Jesus Christ everyone barren Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I announce the arrival of your supernatural children. Every other sickness, whether mentioned or not, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I decree and declare, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Healed right now. Hallelujah. Now, I want to speak over your life. Look up, please. I know that the prophetic ministry has been so abused. Many people do not even know the power of the prophetic again. But just because a ministry may have been abused by carelessness and imbalance does not mean it is not potent. You will need the prophetic in your life to rise. I want to speak over your life. And while we are doing that, all the the Choma Jesus team, may I request that you come quickly. I want to also pray, you coordinate them, whoever, all of the people, so that I will just speak over your life. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and bones, a sound. Son of man, he said, can these bones live again? Son of man, can this job live again? Can this family live again? Can this destiny live again? Can this shame and reproach be rolled away? He said, prophesy. I stand by the God who called me. And I speak over everyone here. 
under the sound of my voice every door that has refused to open over your destiny i prophesy to you a father may that door be open now Have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born but it said as soon as zion travails let me speak over your life in the name of jesus christ everything that god has showed you should happen this year 2022 and it has not yet happened i command it to begin to happen now hear me these hands that are lifted if there is anything tiny down that your hand is a parakatosh kaniga barakatoziata your hand is a symbol of your productivity help them please and anything that has tied your hand i stand here oh where hear me i speak by the mantle of god i lose you right now 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 hear me if there is any family here represented that is still worshiping idols still bowing down to deities i stand by the god of heaven and i declare those powers die now he said as for me and my house we will serve the lord listen carefully i want to rebuke the spirit of death Death is a spirit. There are families with the patterns of untimely death. Just when you are about to enjoy the faithfulness of God, death comes. There are some of you every two, two years, somebody must die. Every six, six months. These are demonic patterns. Don't wait till it gets to your turn. Help that lady. I stand by the God of heaven. Every demonic pattern, especially death, over anyone's family here, I speak by the God of heaven. I command that pattern. Help, help them. Oh my God. Please help them. I command that pattern broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Now, please listen carefully. There are people. The spirit that operates in their house. Is such that they have to eat by being slaves to others for you to rise and to be established it is what happened to Jacob in the house of Laban Jacob said leave me let me establish myself but Laban went and consulted with diviners and they said no we must keep him here I want to release such families brilliant people no job graduates no rising intelligent people no open doors i stand by the god of heaven that cause that is lying on your life and your destiny by the blood of the eternal covenant i break it now i break it now i break it now i break it now, break it now. hear me two more prayers and we're done i want you to listen to me very carefully Listen to me very carefully. The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work. Do you know there are people that start things and never finish? There are some of you, there are houses that have been built since before you were born. Till today it's not completed. Anybody that tries to rise, a spirit brings them down. God is the author and finisher. I want to pray for you. The mantle that makes for completion. That you are not going to start something and then die on the way. You will not start something. You will not sow and another reap. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Last prayer point. Thou shall increase my greatness. And comfort me on every side. Listen. Can I tell you? It is in God's destiny for everyone to be great. It's good to clap for great people. 
when Choma came and stood here, I was listening to her story. If I understand her well, I was so touched. Sold Mama Put, fried granite, and the God of heaven, the one who is the lifter of men, lifting her to what she is now. I want to pray and release a grace on your life. Hear me. Hear me. Believe me. It does not matter your background. It does not matter your lowly estate. Some of you are like Gideon hiding and saying, I am the least in my father's house. But there is a God that is able to lift. There is that song she sings. I wish I say, I, I understand Igbo. I was this, uh, what was that our song again? Okay, more very powerful song every time i hear that song i told i said there is a there is a real anointing upon that song that breaks chains i want to speak over your life please hear me anyone you see whether in ministry or politics or business that ever became great beyond a certain level i assure you is either by the Blanda katapra haskidia, ke prega te kete baraka toska di lakata, shaberens kani jaji kataskia, e prega te katapa katosko topatia, ke prega tuska di lakapara, shabaranda katapra kata kata kate, e prega te kete kotosko topra, rakata bakata prenda kete kete ya, embrike tosho topa kata kata, e prega te kete leke baraka tuskiya ta. Mambra bakatos kati lakata, ebri kete ketos koto prekete lakata. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, oh, where you hear me? I speak by the Spirit of grace. Help them, please. This mantle right now, at the count of three, may that mantle rest upon your life and change your story forever. Are you ready now? At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus. One, two, three. Take that mantle, take that grace, take that grace, take that anointing, take that anointing, take that mantle, take that mantle, change your destiny by this unction. May your family change, may your ministry change in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Of God and her team. Stretch your hands and pray like you are praying for your mother. Stretch your hands and pray like you are praying for your sister. Stretch your hands and pray like you are praying for someone who has blessed you. For some of you, you have benefited from a philanthropy. For some of you, you have benefited from her worship. Deliverances and miracles have happened. Please pray, Lord, lift her. Pray, Lord, honor her. Pray. Lord, increase her. Keep her to enjoy the blessings of her children's children. Is this how you pray for those who have blessed you? Pray, oh God, raise financial helpers. 
Raise helpers. Multiply her ministry. One more minute. You are praying for her. Bless her with good health. Lord, keep her for us. Protect her. No weapon fashioned against her. And her children and her family will prosper. That when she cries unto you, answer her. Remember your covenant with her. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I will pray for her and I will pray for the entire team. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. By this apostolic grace, I lay my hands upon you, dear woman of God, matriarch of power. And in Jesus' name, I release you to a new dimension of impact, a new dimension in ministry. Are you saying amen? A new dimension. I pray that in this new season that she's entering, strange financial helpers. Some of you are here and God is going to begin to speak to you. To stand by this woman and to see that all her evangelical outreaches continue to go far. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands prophetically as a symbol of your productivity. In Jesus' name, expand. In Jesus' name, enlarge. Every power that fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus. You have humbled yourself before men. God will lift you publicly. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for the entire team. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over the entire team. Where is the gentleman that organized that? that where is he? You are a man of God. Let me pray for you that a grace, there is an anointing that will come upon your life and God will shift you to a new dimension. God is going to be granting you access to deep levels of revelation and then he will be increasing your honor and your visibility. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare a new season for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Anybody who fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who have served in this crusade. I stand in partnership with the woman of God. And I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus. Because you have served you will not beg. Because you have served you will not cry. Because you have served you will not die before your time. In the name of Jesus. Everything that makes for shame and reproach over your life, I roll it away like a curtain. I extend this prayer to the workers, the protocol, the ushers, all who have served in the name of Jesus. The Bible says a worker is deserving of his wages. Therefore, God bless you. God bless you. God lift you in the name of Jesus. I pray for every man of God and every ministry represented in a weary, like a united body, not fighting one another. May you rise to a new dimension. I pray for the church in a weary. You will not go down. Every pastor, every prophet, every evangelist, every teacher, every prayer ministry, every worshiper, the grace to rise to a new level, let it come upon you. I pray over your campuses in the name of Jesus. Let fire fall upon those campuses. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have honored me tonight. I pray that this God who called me, may he honor you individually. In the mighty and the marvelous name of Jesus. The lost name of Jesus. The lost name of Jesus. The lost name. Make it well. Can I speak over your life? Please rise up on your feet. There are kings, there are kingdoms, there are mountains. And
Celebrity. I need more than influence. I need influence that is connected to purpose. Someone pray. Jesus. Now hear me. This is our final night together. I have just one more session and then we'll leave. Tomorrow I'll be praying with the prayer department by 6.30. Just one hour. 6.37. I don't know how we're going to do it. It's particularly for the prayer department but we can't stop all. If you are invited and you can find the space, I just want to do an early morning prayer with the prayer department and then we'll be good to do some other things and leave. But for now, just spare me two minutes i want to speak over your life impartation is powerful you don't have to kneel you don't have to do just be ready to receive i truly believe in the power of impartation impartation is receiving what you do not have or what you do not have enough of the wisdom of god is transferable we have received from those who by the privilege of god's grace we have received from the word of God we have received by a sincere desire in prayer for everyone that has get receiving but we have also received from those who are the carriers of this wisdom with proof hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus like the dew of Hammon whether you're a man of God whether in this house or just coming to visit whether you are a businessman whether you are a lecturer whether you are a parent in the name of jesus i declare at the count of three let that grace that wisdom like you have never received let it come upon you one two two take that wisdom now receive that grace right now Receive that grace right now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. Superior wisdom. I impart it upon you. Supernatural solutions. Extraordinary decisions. No more foolish decisions. In the name of Jesus. Receive that grace. I impart it upon you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom in the city wisdom in the country wisdom academically speaking wisdom maritally wisdom business wise wisdom in ministry in the name of jesus christ number two maleka tabaratosia ah this one will come on many people the power of the holy ghost the power of the Holy Ghost to excel in ministry. The power of the Holy Ghost right now wherever you are, inside and outside, at the count of three, take that power now. One, two.
two, three. Take that power. Take that anointing for signs and wonders. Supernatural miracle. The power of the Holy Ghost, man of God, doing ministry this way you will not rise. Take fresh grace, fresh anointing, fresh grace. Let the gift of the Spirit be activated now. The gift of the Spirit be activated now. The power to heal be activated now. The power to deliver be activated now. Please help them. Paranda Zadekate Barakotosko Dobrete Balakus. A Fareska Deka Baresko Sigate. Karega de Bala. God is still releasing something. I'm still seeing like like you just falling. Paresh Shade. Aresko dia. Embrake de Bala Toskatia. You will never be the same. Shabro Shadia Tabala. Power upon your hands. Mantle and oil upon your head. Strange results. Strange dimension. Strange results. Strange dimension. Number three. Let the rich man not glory in his riches. I want to declare that grace. Listen, when it has to do with wealth and prosperity, I have taught you there are keys and there are principles you need. Value, wealth, increase, investments, so on and so forth. But hear me, truly, there is the power to prosper. There is the grace from God. I want to not only speak over your finances, but release something on you most of you have value but your value is not anointed father in the name of jesus christ let as many young and old male and female everyone here who desires this grace the power and the unction to prosper may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. Prosper in your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every helper who must arise in your life, in your ministry, in your business, some of you to bail you out of your current financial condition in the name of Jesus Christ. Between now and the end of this month, we call them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please believe it, believe it. I call them by the power of the Holy Ghost. There are many of you by reason of this declaration, you will step into prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Let me pray for every family here. I know that economically speaking, it looks like things are tied. But in Jesus' name, I place a mark of exemption upon you. A mark of exemption upon your children. A mark of exemption upon your children's children. I place a mark of exemption upon your business, upon your ministry. You will not fall financially. In the name of Jesus Christ, If there is anyone holding what belongs to you, Shali Pa Ekapuskadi, Shaneme Mekatabarusyata, in the name of Jesus, may it be released to you now. Hear me. Anyone here who needs a job, I decree and declare by the power that created the heavens and the earth, between now and the next three months, may a supernatural job locate you. Let him locate you, let him locate you, let him locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare promotion. Everyone who has remained at the same level, experience increase right now. Experience increase right now. Hear 
hear me anyone here who is in business and it has refused to work first the wisdom you need may god grant you the power you need may god grant you now that i've prayed for you let me speak to the business in the name of jesus i declare every dead or dying business here come back to life now come back to life now hallelujah please hear me i heard someone was telling me that there was a threat letter that was given to one one environment one community or so somewhere around in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare if there is any conspiracy agree with me or don't sit down and say in the name of jesus we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ we declare cancelled now we release the forces of judgment in the name of jesus christ there is no peace for the wicked in the name of jesus christ hallelujah and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death if there is anyone here the plague of death is already following you you are having all kinds of dreams people are already sending you prophetic words who are seeing something that should not be in the name of jesus whether it's dead by sickness whether it's dead by accident whether it's dead by the activities of wicked men be exempted from death now be exempted from death now now very quickly please lay your hand if you are trusting god for healing i just have one minute to do this any part of your body you are trusting god for healing hallelujah you are trusting god for healing lay your hands right there and i want to pray for you in one minute father people have come here tonight trusting to receive healing you are the great physician and there is still the balm in gilead therefore i decree and declare there is someone you have a projection that looks like goita in the name of jesus the power of god is taking that devilish thing away from you now i decree and declare that the spirit that is back of any infirmity by the power that raised christ from the dead we decree and declare that spirit is hereby caused now and then i declare be healed right now the lord is healing someone you have an issue of blood the power of god is coming on you and the lord is healing you right now let that demonic thing leave you now someone you have a problem with your gum your gum your teeth now your gum not really the teeth but the gum the power of god is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus there is someone i think is your father he's going blind with what i'm seeing in my vision it's like he's having glaucoma and the thing is deteriorating and they've told you nothing much can be done in the name of jesus may the power of jesus rest right now and bring you healing for in jesus name we pray koinonia zaria i declare over you it is from glory to glory it is from grace to grace fire will never stop falling upon this altar in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let's celebrate jesus give him a big hand clap 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus this is what it's all about more than joshua selma a revelation of jesus and the glorification of the same i'm about to pray for you shortly i'd like you to ask anything you are trusting god for go ahead following us on instagram and and twitter and the youtube page facebook go ahead let the lord know what you trust from him i'm about to release that grace all over the nations
for some of you is a new level in ministry for some of you is a new level in family some of you is an age-long captivity to be broken for some of you is a new dimension in the anointing for some of you is access to revelation and insight go ahead pray one more minute and I'm praying for you Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Your life is about to change. hallelujah hallelujah now please listen listen to me listen very carefully I don't mean to be proud and forgive me if I sound proud but the Lord has put a mysterious anointing upon the life of this man you are watching. The anointing of the Spirit upon my life is not for a ministry. It's not for a nation. It's for a generation. And the Lord has honored His word upon my life. I have a covenant with God that releases possibilities to the lives of people. And he has not failed I want to pray for you I want you to believe God for strange manifestations in your life now everywhere in your home your office I like you to stretch your hands towards your screen stretch your hands towards me I want to pray now I want to pray now these are not the hands of a man these are the hands of Jesus stretched through a man. I'd like you to stretch your hands right now. Following on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and whatever platform you're going to be watching this from. Stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my precious global family. I pray for all who are following right now connecting. Some are in tears. Some are having their hearts open towards you, trusting to receive. You have granted me the privilege of life on this day and an opportunity to share that life with millions of people all over the world. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of the Spirit move from my hands to every home, to every office, to every situation. In the name of Jesus, let there be a birthing of new, fresh hunger for spiritual things, a desire and a passion for the things of the Spirit. For those whose prayer life has gone down, for those whose worship life has gone down, I pray in the name of Jesus, let there be a fresh visitation from God. A fresh visitation. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, a fresh visitation by the power of the Holy Ghost. A fresh visitation. I pray for many who are carrying burdens burdens that no one may know from america to the united kingdom to canada germany africa nigeria in the name of jesus i stretch my hands and i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit be delivered right now be delivered right now i rebuke infirmity Everyone trusting God for a miracle. I stretch my hands. You're on the wheelchair. 
in the name of Jesus every kind of infirmity I cause that devil be free right now be perfected be made whole in the name of Jesus I pray for those who are trusting for an anointing for the next level of life in ministry for the next level of life in business for the next level of life in family I stretch my hands receive that grace may that grace come upon you right now I place an anointing upon you that distinguishes you I declare that you are a city on a hill that cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus I rebuke delay from your life in the name of Jesus I rebuke delay from your life by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I pray favor favor upon your life upon your ministry I pray for every son and every daughter in the faith and and in the gospel may you carry this same fire reproduce it in the name of Jesus I bless you I decree and declare that it is well with you the hand of God is strong upon your life in the name of Jesus you will find purpose you will find your place in life Gener your generation will celebrate you in the name of Jesus Christ and for all those who are in the studio here I bless you in the name of Jesus I bless you for your labor of love and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit you will experience the grace of God move from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.